Hello, Tab Nation. It's your boy Tom, and today I have a new filter. You probably recognize that in one of my previous videos, or depending on what order I release them. Let me know what you think. I'm currently switching up uh, location of my living room and my desk, so I haven't really got the green screen up. But this is what I'm going to be using for now. Anywho, we're going to talk about uh, this really cool AI. Uh, website that I found very useful in taking videos. So we're going to obviously use my own video, for example. And, you know, maybe you don't want to watch a video, you just kind of want the text. You know, there's a lot of times we're watching a video, it's like, eh, I'd rather just read it. Um, it's very helpful. Um, so let's just use, uh, for example, we'll use this one, AutoHotKey. Uh, this is an INI file for version 2, AutoHotKey. So we'll go to the website or sorry, at the video. And we're just gonna grab real quick the URL from up here, copy and paste it over into uh, sepify.tech. Um, obviously I'll put that in the description below. But basically you're just going to paste the URL there for the video that you want, and you're gonna push submit. It's then gonna process, and as you see, that was super fast. Um, this is, I think like a eight minute, 10 minute video or so. So obviously the video is, you know, one of those really big videos that's like two hours. It might take like a few extra seconds, but it's still pretty fast. So what do we have here exactly? Why is this useful? It's gonna tell me, it's gonna give me a title basically. And the title is just grabbing from my video. Uh, it tells you an average read is about three minutes. Um, and this was published on August 24th. 2024 so you can see that it's still pretty current so it's most likely still relevant um, and then it also creates a table of contents which is really cool for jumping um, it breaks down stuff very simple um, but you can go down here and it's basically just a file that the AI took what I'm saying in the video and it kind of made like a tutorial so actually it says this tutorial will guide you through so like a little introduction but it's cool because it even like does stuff that like I might have not mentioned in the video, which is very interesting uh, that it's able to do that. So setting up uh, AutoHockey version two, um, you know, it says here download and install V2 from the official website. You know, create a file with the AHK version. Uh, I didn't even say that in the video. Like I didn't. I, I might have mentioned at the beginning that this is version two uh, auto hockeys, but that's all I really said. I didn't talk about how to do this uh, in the video. So that's really cool that it actually can add details that I might have missed out on. Um, but yeah, it just goes down. It does a great job. It gives you examples. Um, gives you the syntax here. Then it gives you the example so you know exactly what it looks like. Explains the example. You know, this command writes John Doe under the section user info and the key of the name. So this is really cool. Uh, breaks down step one, step two, Four. Now, one thing I do like too is step five. A lot of times it will add at the end like hints, tips, or best practices. So always back up your INI files before making change to prevent lost. I don't think I said that at all in that video, but that is a great tip. So not even just that you want to read. This is a great way to kind of expand on what I said in the video. And maybe something I just completely left out, didn't think about. I believe I did mention these, test your script. I think I did talk about testing your script manually. Use meaningful, because I think I did in the video say like, hey, this is a crappy uh, key or this is a crappy name. Obviously be more organized. So I did say that, I did say that I'm pretty sure, but I did not say this, and this is a good thing to point out is to back up your INI files. So this is very helpful. Um, I also will give you like recent, now recent's kind of whatever, because uh, obviously I can't read half this. It's in another language, it looks like. And some of them don't even seem like relatable to what I talk about. Um, and the cool thing, too, is it does put the video here so you can watch it um, uh, while you read. If you want to verify something that's said in here, maybe you want to see it visually also. Uh, this is really cool. Um, it does have a link to the actual YouTube channel if you want to comment on the video. It has a link to uh, the actual main page of my channel in case you want to try to find other videos or subscribe, which you should definitely do because I'm always throwing automation videos out there, usually doing with auto hotkeys, but we like to branch out. 
If you like this video, definitely hit the like. It lets me know what you guys are interested in so I can know to do more videos. Now, one thing I do want to point out as of right now, I haven't really found a way to save this. Um, as far as I see on the website, there's no, like, download now to PDF, which would be absolutely amazing. But honestly, all you can do, really, if you want, is you can just highlight the uh, main part of the text here and then put it into whatever program, put it into Word, uh, or put it into uh, Google, um, whatever the version of Google is, I can't, Sheets, no, not Sheets, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so it would be nice. There are uh, Chrome add-ons out there that you can use that would put this into a PDF, but I just find it easier to just throw it in Word, um, and then you would have to manually add your own table of contents, which you can do in Word and Google. Uh, just tell it where to jump to and then put the first page as the table of contents. But it is kind of annoying that it doesn't have a download feature. But if I'm completely wrong, please let me know. There's also a night mode, which I really enjoy. Um, but yeah, if, I, if you guys figure out a cleaner way to do this, where this website will allow you to actually do that, Definitely let me know in the comments below because I'm curious. I've been scrolling up and down here and I have yet to find where you can actually do that. Alright, just uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you know another website that's a lot like this, um, definitely let me know. Or even an add-on would be kind of cool. Throw it in the comments below. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video with different varieties of websites or add-ons uh, that can do the same thing. Yeah, I think that's about it. I will see you all on the next one. Bye.